Hello and welcome to another episode of Frags and Beers Indie Spotlight. I'm your host Zaymod, also known as Trevor. You can find links to all of my social media and my other content in the video description below. Check out past videos of Indie Spotlight where we've done other musical artists. Uh, all independent stuff is what we're looking for. Um, stay tuned. As soon as I figure out how to do it, we're also going to start including uh, art, probably indie short films. That may be where I go next. Um artists uh comic creators and writers I, I really want to bring in a whole slew of um sort of independent creators and stuff and, and and show you the ones that i found highlight the ones that i found um the ones that don't have big marketing um venues and don't have you know big labels or publishers behind them uh to kind of show you the stuff that i found and the really cool stuff that that I've encountered, whether it be on YouTube or, or another uh, platform, so to speak. Uh, so check out all the links to keep this uh, channel ad-free. Uh, excuse me, a little itch in my eye, brother. This is a live show. I don't record it. I don't edit it. This is not a reaction channel. I'm not going to come up with weird faces or oh my god moments. Uh, not going to come up with any clickbait thumbnails to make you click on this. Like, oh, it looks like he doesn't like this one, so let's see what he has to say. This is just you and me and the mic uh, recorded by before a uh, live studio audience, which is usually my dog who is out in the other room right now. But I'm sure you'll see his little butt come in uh, there under the mic at some point because he likes to come in while I'm recording. Uh, so anyway, we're taking a look at a band that I found. This is a strange band. Uh, not going to lie. When I first found them, uh, I was intrigued by the thumbnail and the name of the song, which is excuse me, Witch's Wrath. Um, I'm a little stuffy today. I'm not sure why. Probably the um, uh, pollen. There's a lot of pollen out today with the wind blowing the way it is. That's probably what it is. So we're taking a look at a band called Bridge City Sinners, which seems to be a group of artists. Um, I actually want to get a little more information on um this before i jump in i meant to look this up it's a musical group um out of man where are they out of i think they're out of washington either portland or seattle I'm trying to find their about here we go bridge city centers pacific northwest help from Traditional string band lineup, um, they call themselves, they span the continuum from Prohibition era jazz to Appalachian death folk. Uh, they play festivals like punk rolling bowl or punk rock bowling, Muddy, uh, Muddy Roots, Oregon's Bluegrass String Summit. They uh, start their journey by busking on sidewalks around the country. Uh, it doesn't give me the band's information i know that the lead singer man i wish it gave me more information about their names but it's like a what five six piece band uh female lead singer y you'll see this is some unique stuff this is something i've never quite seen before I heard somebody describe this, or I saw somebody describe this as like, uh, imagine if a, a pirate shanty band made up of uh, bluegrass musicians and, and a goth uh, pirate singer uh, showed up at a Ren Faire uh, to, to play some music at a tavern, something like that. I don't know. It's It's something so i wanted to show you guys because i really enjoyed it i listened to a couple of their songs and i really enjoyed it so we're going to take a look at witch's wrath from the bridge city centers this is in something called the bridge city sessions that's the channel that i found this song on i do not think this particular song is on their regular channel but if you look up bridge city centers you will find their youtube channel you'll find their other songs and a few videos so go check that out after this i'll link to this original um when i'm done it'll be in the video description so we're going to jump right in and take a look at witch's wrath from 
the Bridge City Sinners, and uh, hopefully you guys have as much fun as I did the first time I watched it. So here we go. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, let me just say, like, I know I, I'm not using the, the term weird or strange in any way derogatory directed at this band, um, but they are. They are odd. Uh, they're an odd collection of people from clearly all different backgrounds, um, different musical uh, talent and inspiration. Um, the band is really, like I said, a collection of bluegrass and goth and um you know almost kind of folk music and and there's some what you might consider pirate shanty sort of um rhythms in there and and this woman's voice that's why i wish i really want to see um i i, I keep i don't have their names i want to say their names because i want to give them all due credit um when it comes to talking about these folks, uh, they're called uh, the genre they're under on Spotify is neo folk. Um, that's really funny. Uh, neo folk. I've never heard of such a thing. There's really not a lot of information specific about the members that I can find on their website. Um, so I'm not going to waste too much time trying to find it, but but I am going to look up more information about this band. I really, really dig the sound. Her voice is just knocking it out of the park. Uh, the whole arrangement is really good. I love the instrumentals. I love the band. You don't hear, obviously, you don't hear a lot of banjo. Steel guitar is usually something allocated specifically to country. Uh, violins in this format you're going to hear it sometimes in folk music and country music but you're also going to hear it like in a lot of Irish um, tavern bands and pub bands and your Irish uh, sort of um, folk music bands so it's a really interesting collection of of musical talent and sound and stuff it's um, it's like getting one of those meals where it's just like hit, getting hit with so many different flavors all at once, uh, where your brain doesn't exactly know how to process it. You're, you're kind of trying to figure out like, okay, we got some sweet and some sour and some spicy and some crunchy and some soft. So you're like, your brain is like trying to process all of this different information at once. And it, and it, and it leaves you kind of stunned. And that was the first time I watched this video. I was like, I was a little bit stunned. Like I didn't exactly know what to think or what to say. It was it was really interesting. <laughs> I just had a thought I could see this totally being like an animated band this if 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 oh what's his name uh Tim Burton needed to come up with like a a goth country you know traveler band for one of his animated you know spooky films this is probably what he'd come up with it would sound like this and it would be such an a unique collection of 
of characters like this. That's that's just the thought that popped into my head. It sounds like something you would hear in a Tim Burton film with with some animated skeletons playing some instruments and whatnot. It's that just kind of struck me as funny. <laughs> Something that that I love about her voice, the power in her voice, a lot of times female-led bands, that's a good place to stop that. Uh, Sometimes your your female-led bands um, struggle because the the woman's voice tends to have a softer tone to it. It's harder to carry over instruments. And there's ways to do that through sound. Like they could, the, it's not necessarily the, the, the fault of the voice of the lead singer so much as the sound guys aren't really doing a very good job of helping kind of modulate that sound so that the lead singer's voice carries over. And you hear that sometimes as well in, in male-led bands where the the lead singer is just not loud enough. The instruments are just so loud and so hard, so heavy um, that their voice doesn't carry over. And, and I find it, unfortunately, more often with, with female-led bands uh, because the softer tone of the voice has a harder time carrying over that sound sometimes. Her voice has got so much power, so much punch, uh, and such a unique tone to it, such a unique sound. Um, that it carries right over all the other instruments that are going on in the background. And, and they really are playing accompaniment uh, to her voice, not just it's it's not her voice accompanying the band, which you see a lot of times, unfortunately, where, where it's just you can almost barely hear what what the lead is is singing and, and hear that that's not a problem at all. She's coming through beautifully, definitely coming through and sounds so good. good i when i first listened to this i didn't listen to the whole thing um i was looking for new artists to to bring to the table here uh to sort of broaden out our our exposure on indie spotlight 
And so I listened to the first couple of bars of the song and I really liked the sound. I liked her voice. So I was like, yeah, we got to do this one. And I did go back and listen to a couple of part of a couple of their other songs just to kind of get a feel for the band, see if this was sort of a one off because you'll get that. Sometimes a band will do a, a sort of one off uh, kind of unique sound or they'll do something they'll play around or be experimental. And you'll hear that one song and you'll really love it. And then you go listen to their other stuff and and it's not the same. Uh, they really are. They they are the same um, throughout uh, her voice. Uh, I wish I knew her name. Next time I, I do them, I will definitely have her name uh, hopefully in my head so that I could say I, I just can't find it online anywhere right now. Um, not even on their band page, which is weird. You think they would list on the band page the members who are in the band. Uh, but anyway, uh, really, really good uh love that sound go check out their channel uh subscribe here check out the beardstruggle.com where you can save 15 percent on uh, beard products for your beard check out the uh subscribe star page in the link below uh, where you can help support the channel um thank you to all the people who have come and subscribed and commented um so glad to see you so glad to see all the love uh, bring your friends, share the show, uh, let them know that we're out there doing this. Um, I'm going to try to bring you more unique indie bands. Um, a lot of channels who do this are are reacting to everything and reacting to the big guys and the little guys. And and frankly, I love I love industry music. I love you know your five finger death punch and your metallica and your slipknot and all that stuff but those guys don't need my help uh those guys are doing an amazing job uh they have producers and agents and record companies and they're doing great tour in the world um, i want to feature guys who are doing it on their own uh who are doing all the footwork who are putting their music out there and really taking that big risk just like i do every time I go do a show to sell books, you know, I'm a one man. I, I want to say that my wife helps incredibly with my work. Um, but yeah, the writing, I, I know what it's like to try to put all your stuff out there. So I want to, I want to feature that. That's what this show's about. Come check out more, leave some comments. Let me know what you want to see. If you know of an indie band that I have not done yet, I want to know about it. Um, let me know in the comments let me know you were here say hi we're going to do some more of this i'm going to try to work in um i i've been watching i love watching indie short films on youtube um especially some of the post-apocalyptic ones i've seen some of them are very good um once i figure out how to do that uh in this format do it live that's what i'm going to do we may there may be some some ways i can finagle that and we can work it out but until then I will see you guys again soon. This has been Indie Spotlight looking at Bridge City Sinners, their song, Which is what, which is Wrath. Uh, I don't think she used the, the title in the lyrics, so it kind of threw me for a minute. But I will see you again soon. You guys have a great one. Much love. Bye.